everybody, welcome today. Today we're gonna to be taking a little dive into something I don't normally go into and that's TV shows, reviews, and stuff like that. Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about the new Disney Plus show, Star Wars Acolyte. Now, I come from this and I'm calling it the honest review or honest take on um, Star Wars Acolyte. Now, I come from this from a point that I, I'll, I'll first off say I like Star Wars. I am a Star Wars fan, therefore you see that in my content, you see that in the fact that I play the board games, and um, I have not been overly critical about Star Wars. I've done a few show reviews as we go gone through some of the different shows, and I have not been overly critical of Star Wars, so it's not like I'm one of those people that they might want to label as hate or uh, the people who just like to get upset and talk about it because you know whatever you know i've been very supportive of star wars over the years uh i've watched every movie I've watched every show i've read the books i've read uh i play most of the game board games and video games and uh i've really liked star wars as a world as a fiction as a sci-fi um entity and I thought that George Lucas did a, a great job developing a world. He wasn't the best director, I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, it wasn't even the best screenwriter. Um, there was problems in all the Star Wars throughout the years. Um, but at this time, I was watching The Acolyte. As normally, uh, me and my boys watch it together. I get my boys together. We didn't watch it right away. We waited a few days in. It was out for a few days. I didn't look at all the reviews, didn't look at things and get my opinion made up by other people. Um, but instead, I sat down with my two boys uh, who are um, 17 and, well, 17 the day the Acolyte came out, um, <laughs> and and uh, 15 years old. And we sat and we started watching the show. About halfway through the first episode, my 15-year-old's like, man, this is the pretty bad show. I, I haven't seen something this bad in a long time. And he started complaining that not only is it badly written it's boring and and i and i said yeah the pacing's kind of off and it doesn't you know star wars tv shows haven't been that great of late i i enjoy them um uh to some bit and i was kind of excited for some of them to come out uh, i loved andor let's put that out there right there uh it was my, by far my favorite i did like the jedi tales um and i did like some of the uh, other cartoons but I really loved Andor. Andor was one of my favorite. Now my my one son wasn't big fan of Andor because it was slow to him. But that's that's acceptable. He didn't think it was just the characters were were underdeveloped, and and so my son started complaining. He's like, man, like some of these uh, uh, costumes and aliens are just like, hey, let's stick some face paint on a human and we'll call it an alien and make up a new alien and you know there, there was bad aliens in all of them but uh, I started looking at it and thinking about it and I said yeah some of these aliens I've seen fan fa uh, uh, films do better job of making aliens and making them more believable and, and I started to get a little um, started thinking critically and I'm thinking that this show isn't that good uh, and you know, they're going to tote that, you know, I just saw uh, that they toted that they had 4.8 million viewers. And that was their biggest show of the 2024. Well, there wasn't a lot that came out in 24, but that's not a big problem. Um, I viewed it because I'm a Star Wars fan. I watched both episodes. My one son only watched one episode. The other one, who's a Star Wars fan, a big Star Wars fan like me, watched both episodes. But we both looked at each other and said, that was the worst Star Wars I've ever watched. And here's this is coming from somebody that even found some good in the sequel trilogy. Um, I'm not saying I liked all of the sequel trilogy, but when I watched them, um, I said, yeah, I could see where they might be going here. Did they succeed in the end? No. But I, I was giving them the benefit of doubt. And I'm not just hammering on Disney because... My favorite Disney, or my favorite Star Wars is a Disney Star Wars. So, um, yeah, I'm not just hammering on them. I, I, I think Rogue One was the probably the best made Star Wars. Uh, and Andor is probably the best Star Wars TV show I've ever seen. Um, but when I was walking Acolyte, I was just like, this story's not good. It's 
didn't leave anything for an imagination or anything unpredictable. Pacing was horrible. The costumes weren't great. And the alien makeup was horrible. And it was like, oh, paint them, put a couple horns on. We got an alien. Um, and I... I won't watch the first two episodes. I won't totally trash it because here's the thing. Maybe it redeems itself in the end. But it's going to have to go a long way to watch redeem it. And yeah, I will watch it all. And maybe that's I'm a sucker because I do that and it gives Disney more money or whatever. But um, it's not good. It's not entertaining. I, I really, here's my only thing thing that I really ask for from a TV show or movies entertain me and tell a good story and it didn't tell a good story so far and it has entertained me it's been the worst like I was like looking for reasons to go get something to snack on or something I, I don't know it just didn't hold me at all on the seat so please Disney do better and don't just blame me and everybody else who doesn't like your shows as some nostalgic or you know, like somebody who doesn't um, think critically or just hates on things. I, I'm not a hater. Do I like all the gender politics you're putting into your shows? No. Uh, I don't think you need to push something down somebody's throat. I think we can just enjoy life together. And if you make good characters, we like them. Some of my favorite characters are different sorts of characters. Why do I like them? Because they're well written. A good character makes me like it. Not anything else. Don't push things on me. Don't. I just wanna. I just wanna have fun and enjoy the show and a story. I loved Andor. I'm looking forward to Skeleton Crew, but I'm worried. Um, and. Ahsoka was okay. I love Ahsoka the character, but the show was just okay. So, I guess all I have to say is, please, Disney, take the time to make quality stuff that we want to watch. And don't just produce crap that nobody really cares for. I know you had 4.8 million views. Not sure where those count though because what really counts is how people enjoyed it or not and are they going to return and keep returning who knows but I think my final saying is Disney please do better if you like me well if you like this type of content if you like stuff about Star Wars and board games and all the different sci-fi stuff like and subscribe, and uh, until next time, may the force be with you.